very good morning students welcome to the class today we will cover dg class for your history chapter 1 what where how and when ठीक है हिस्ट्री के चैप्टर वन की आज हम जो है डीजी क्लास को कवर करेंगे हम ऑलरेडी स्टडी कर चुके हैं इस चैप्टर को ठीक है आज हम जो है डीजी क्लास की हेल्प से इस टॉपिक को और बेटर अंडरस्टैंड करते हैं तो स्टार्ट करते हैं आज की डीजी क्लास Symbols being repeatedly unread, <coughs> and Doctor John has asked him for his medical history. Why do doctors ask for their patients' medical history? The doctor asks for a patient's medical history to know about his past health problems and health issues that he could inherit. This helps the doctor construct an accurate picture of his patient's health. <coughs> Thus, the doctor, history matters. When you study history, you are just like the doctor, understanding your present better by understanding your past. History is not just about dates, events, and wars. It's also about knowing yourself better and improving your critical thinking skills. History. Helps you understand your social and cultural background better. In genetics, you learn about biological traits you inherit from your parents. In history, you learn about the social and cultural qualities that you have inherited from your ancestors. We are what we are because of the way humans have evolved. Cavemen lighting fires to space scientists launching satellites. We have come a long way. Our forefathers have experienced many great moments, performed many great deeds, and learned many painful lessons. They took giant steps on social. Political, artistic, and technological fronts. Without history, all of these will be lost, and the past will be forgotten. But that is not all that history can do for you. You have an opportunity to improve your critical thinking skills. Let us see how Sidney does this. Whenever Sidney has a problem, he wonders how the historian would solve it, because Sidney is inspired by the historian's critical thinking methods in his real life. The moment you start digging into tales about finding the past, you are bound to find historians struggling with more than one source of information. When that happens, they need to test for credibility and determine which one is genuine.
reading about such texts, you develop your own ability to check for credibility. This time, Siddha is stuck with a flower that he cannot classify. He again wonders how the historian would answer this. स्टूडेंट्स यहाँ पे जो है आपसे ये पूछ रहे हैं कि हिस्टोरियंस को जो है कौन कौन से क्वेश्चंस के आंसर देने होते होंगे जब वो पास्ट के बारे में एग्जामिन कर रहे हैं एविडेंस को यानी कि कोई भी सबूत उनको पास्ट के बारे में मिला है तो कौन कौन से क्वेश्चंस वो करते होंगे ठीक है कौन कौन से क्वेश्चन के उनको आंसर जो है फाइंड आउट करने होते होंगे तो क्या क्या क्वेश्चन हो सकते हैं देखो पहला तो यही है कि ऑरिजिनल है कि नहीं है है ना कहाँ से आया है ओरिजिनल सोर्स क्या है ठीक है वो पता लगाते होंगे ठीक है और फिर कौन से पीरियड को ये बिलोंग करता है ऐसे बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन होते होंगे जो कि हिस्टोरियंस जो हैं जिनके आंसर्स को ढूंढते होंगे A lot of history is answers to the questions who, what, where, when, why, and how. In the process of understanding how historians critically answer these questions, you can develop your own ability to investigate. In another real-life situation, sit down. Needs the correct data to find out if the real estate agent is telling the truth. Siddha begins by collecting the necessary data. Similarly, historians collect various types of data and analyze them to understand what happened in the past. As a history student, you can learn to use similar techniques for a better understanding of things. Siddha is facing another problem, as the next day he has to report this football match in his composition class. good part of history is recreating the past. Combining the skills of a scientist and storyteller, the historian recreates the past. By closely examining historical tales, you can develop similar skills to recreate past events. Do you really is that in reality you use interpretive techniques all the time, almost every day. The historian does the same thing, but much more methodically. He has to examine the available historical data to interpret what happened and when. By studying history, you can understand how historians interpret the past. You can then use the same analytical methods in your real-life situations. Mastering such analytical methods will help you to understand the present better, forecast appropriately, and decide future actions. So, history is about self-discovery and about building 
you don't want us to know. And analytical skills. Click on the tabs to know more about how history helps you. देखो history से हमारी personal growth कैसे होती है student? Improve your critical thinking skills यानी कि आपको critically सोचने की जो skills हैं वो आपकी improve होती हैं आप जो है तर्क लगाते हो चीजों को critically analyze करते हो ठीक है समझने के लिए understand your social and cultural क्वालिटीज हिस्ट्री को पढ़ने से आपकी क्या है जो आपका सोशल और कल्चरल क्वालिटीज है कि पास में हमारी सोसाइटी कैसी थी आज कैसे चेंज हुई है पहले कौन कौन से कल्चर्स को हम फॉलो करते थे अब कौन से कल्चर्स को हम फॉलो कर रहे हैं तो उन सब की अंडरस्टैंडिंग आपकी बेटर होती है क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग एंड एनालिटिकल स्किल्स कैसे डेवलप होती है डेवलप योर एबिलिटी टू चेक द क्रेडिबिलिटी क्रेडिबिलिटी का मतलब कि आपको उसकी जो है ओरिजिनैलिटी का पता चलता है कि क्या ये सच में जो है ओरिजिनल है या किसी चीज की कॉपी है तो ये चीजें आपको डेवलप होती है डेवलप योर एबिलिटी को इन्वेस्टिगेट क्योंकि हिस्ट्री के बारे में आपको जानना होता है तो आप बहुत सारी चीजों के बारे में जो है रिसर्च करते हैं तो इससे आपकी इन्वेस्टिगेशन की जो एबिलिटी है वो डेवलप होती है कलेक्ट इंफॉर्मेशन और डेटा और आपको बहुत सारा डेटा जो है हिस्ट्री को जानने के लिए कलेक्ट करना पड़ता है और बहुत सारी इंफॉर्मेशन को भी कलेक्ट करना पड़ता है ठीक है तो इससे क्या होता है आपकी क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग और एनालिटिकल स्किल जो है डेवलप होती है एनालाइज द डेटा एंड ड्रॉ कंक्लूजन और जो डेटा आप कलेक्ट करते हो उसको क्या करते हो आप फिर एनालाइज करते हो ठीक है उसको पढ़ते हो समझते हो और उनके बेसिस पे कंक्लूजन पे पहुंचते हैं फिर है रिक्रिएशन एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन यू रिक्रिएट द पास जो भी हमें इंफॉर्मेशन मिलती है उसके बेस पे हम उसको पास को दोबारा से रिक्रिएट करने की कि ऐसे हुआ होगा फिर ऐसे हुआ होगा है ना इस तरीके की हम कोशिश करते हैं फिर इंटरप्रेट करते हैं पास को फिर हम उसको जानते हैं कि ऐसा हुआ होगा तो इसका निष्कर्ष क्या निकलता है अंडरस्टैंड द प्रेजेंट बेटर पास को जान के ही हम जो है अपने प्रेजेंट को ज्यादा बेहतर जो है समझ सकते हैं फोरकास्ट अप्रोप्रिएटली एंड डिसाइड फ्यूचर एक्शन जब हमें पास का पता चल जाएगा और हम प्रेजेंट को बेटर समझने लगेंगे तो क्या होगा हम फ्यूचर के बारे में भी जो है फोरकास्ट यानी कि पूर्वानुमान आसानी से लगा सकते हैं और फ्यूचर के एक्शन को डिसाइड कर सकते हैं ठीक है अब हम देख लेते हैं डेट की क्या इंपॉर्टेंस होती है Listen carefully. Here's a short story about two friends, Johnny and Rita. Johnny had come to town to buy a dog. When he opened the door of his house, the dog ran straight into the kitchen. Peter was cooking food for his birthday party. Johnny chose a dog and took it home. Peter went to the door and opened it. All of a sudden, a big crowd of people in the garden started singing happy birthday. He spent a while looking in a pet shop for a dog. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. Could you comprehend the above? Wasn't it all a bit puzzling? Now, listen to this. Johnny had come to town to buy a dog. He spent a while looking in a pet shop for a dog. Johnny chose a dog and took it home. When he opened the door of his house, the dog ran straight into the kitchen. Peter was cooking food for his birthday party. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. Peter went to the door and opened it. All of a sudden, a big crowd of people in the garden started singing happy birthday. You didn't understand this earlier as the events that made up the action were not in a logical order. So you now realize that correct sequence is important for us to understand the scenarios. The same happens when you study history. Events need to be recorded in a sequence or order. But how is it possible to arrange the innumerable events that have occurred across the ages? 
and why is it important to do so? Let us look into this. When a very young child plays with bricks, to the child, a single brick may mean a house. But as the child grows up, he or she learns to join a lot of bricks together to make a house. In the process, the child has developed a sense of sequencing.